Well, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Cindy Daycheck with Queen Bee Creations and I am excited that you are here today because we are doing something super fun. I did a video last year, I'm losing track. Um, <laughs> one Christmas, possibly two Christmases ago, I will link it in the description on how to do alcohol ink Christmas balls. Awesome, awesome. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't tried it, you have to because they are gorgeous. I do classes on it here. I have yet to have somebody who has not made absolutely drop dead gorgeous Christmas ornaments and that didn't absolutely love doing it. So this time, um, I kind of, I did a short video for a collaboration which involved doing kind of a mirrored finish, doing mirror ornaments. So I wanna combine them. And it took a little bit of playing. So to save you the time and the aggravation and a bunch of balls that don't work out, <laughs> I'm gonna walk you through the process. So we start, and for this, just for fun, I'm going to use um, some flat ones, a flat ornament or two that I picked up. Um, you can do it with the round ones. I have some that I've done in the round, so no worries. What we do need is we do need alcohol inks, of course. What colors do I wanna do? What am I pulling out here? Um, let me grab a yellow. Do I have a yellow in here? Maybe a yellow and kind of a passion purple. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, we'll do two different colors. Maybe I'll do a lime green one. And what else am I pulling out? Flamingo pink. Maybe I'll do the green and the purple. Maybe a green and a blue. Do I have a blue? Yes, a turquoise. Okay, whatever. So what you need is your ornament. I'm using glass ornaments. You could use a plastic for this. And you need alcohol inks. And alcohol inks are just as described. They are alcohol based, not water based. And they are very translucent, right? So you are going to do just a couple of drops. It doesn't take very much ink. So your alcohol inks go very, very far. And we're just going to let some of this, and they evaporate easily in air, so we wanna close them off. And then what I have is some canned air, and this is air that you get for cleaning out your keyboards. And you're just going to kind of blitz it around a little bit. Okay, and then you can add another color and you can wait for this one to dry fully and then add your next. You can add it in while this is wet. You get to play however you would like. So I've got little drips running down there and I'm going to not have this spritz too much. And I'm gonna let this dry now. So this one, I'm gonna set off to the side. I want it to dry out entirely. Now normally, alcohol inks would evaporate really quite quickly, but they're gonna take a bit of time when they're encased in something. I mean, there's just this little tiny um, opening for them to be able to escape. <coughs> So it's gonna take a little bit more time for them to dry out, but we want them to dry. So let me just do one other one so we see kind of the look. I don't know what this color combo is gonna look like, so we'll see. Let me just swirl that around. If you don't want to get canned air, you could just stick a straw in there and blow too, right? So no no worries on that that scale or you could just shake it around swirl it around always options there's always options and let me add in so that was some lime aid and this is some turquoise ooh already okay i'm just going to 
maybe add another one and just let that kind of drip in there. Okay, I'm not even gonna blow that. I'm just gonna let that one go. The green was already blown around there. And now I gotta let them dry. So we'll come back for the next step. And so the only thing about these ones is that there are a number of steps and it's got to dry in between. So none of it is difficult, but it just takes a bit of time in between. So you do a little bit, go away for a while. Do a little bit, go away for a while. So right now I've done a little bit, now I'm going away. <laughs> Once the alcohol ink is dry inside, and if you're not sure if it's dry or not, you can always take a bit of your canned air or your straw and kind of blast it. And if nothing moves, it's pretty much dry. Now, we can't move into the mirroring stage yet because as I discovered, it reactivates the alcohol ink. So there must be some kind of alcohol in it. If it was just totally water-based, um, this would be fine because this doesn't reactivate with water. So we need to seal it, in which case take, I just take a spray sealer. This is just a clear, um, finish. It doesn't matter if it's matte and my spritzer is on the spritz, but it still gets it in there. Couple of light coats. So I'm going to, <laughs> it's smoking out there. So I'm going to let this dry and then I will do it again. So I found if I did three light coats, then that was good. So I'm going to do three light coats in both of these. I just have to test this one because there was a lot of water in this, a lot of liquid. Okay, so three light coats in uh, each of our ornaments just to be able to seal our alcohol before we move on to the next stage. But spritz it, let it dry, spritz it, let it dry, spritz it, let it dry, and then we're back again. <laughs> our alcohol ink has dried. We have got multiple light thin coats of a clear varnish polyacrylic coating in there just to kind of help seal it and now we want to start to add our mirror finish so I am using rust-oleum mirror effect and this goes far so don't feel like just because it's in a small little can sorry shake it up really well um that you're not gonna have enough or that it's not gonna do tons. I still have this one can, it's about halfway, and I've done mirrors, um, let alone some of these. So again, what we're gonna do is a couple of light, thin coats. And we want to move it around. Again, you can use the canned air to kind of move it for you, but it's not going to start mirroring, but it is going to start to create a bit of patterning. And we want the light coats and we want to build it up until we reach a point that we think, I'm stopping. I love it. So <laughs> it's going to react differently with some of these. It's going to look very different. So, you know, it's, it's an experiment. Like, look at, look at some of that, that were happening already. So expect, and here's a little bit of the orange crackle and the silver starting to look a little bit more gold. So we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna do it again. And I'll tell you when I come back and I'm done with them how many times I did that. But I have to tell you, judging by um, a couple of practice ones that I did trying to perfect this because I made ton of mistakes. I mean, I didn't seal the alcohol ink, so it all disappeared when I had the mirrored effect because it just washed it away. I mean, there's there were multiple iterations of this leading to this. So as much as it seems straightforward now, it was not before I got to this. But, um, and I'll show you some of those, those uh, versions as well, but you're going to want to build it slowly. Don't douse it in there and spray forever light coats it's not going to cover everything yet but it does start to build up so i would expect maybe six times you're doing that i'll let you know but 
that's what we're doing now. So spraying, leaving, spraying, leaving. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, just putting the little hooks back into my ornaments and then they're done. So I ended up doing six, um, kind of six layers of the mirror finish, but that's because I did really light ones. So, you know, when you first put it in, there's just this little shimmer and there's gonna be some bare spots. And then I made a point of the next time that I spritzed in some of the mirror effects, um, I kind of tried to spritz in another area, but what I didn't do is do really heavy coats because then it's just gonna swirl around. And I find that if I get some light layers, then I get some detailing. I get it spotting and then the next goes over top and it creates some really nice um, textural finishes. Now, so this is the blue and the green one. So look at that shimmer. And I don't know if you can catch some of the little detail in it, but it's got kind of like little little speckles and broken areas. What I will say is, if you watch the earlier alcohol ink um, Christmas ornament video, and I'll link it, I did it all with a white acrylic paint backing. So after I'd done the alcohol ink, I added the, alcohol, the um, acrylic paint, a little bit of water, moved it around, let it dry, done. And that backing really made it pop. I did try some with just a silver acrylic paint. It looks nothing like this. This is magical. Um, so we did the yellow with a little bit of pink. So we did yellow, yellow alcohol ink and some pink. Look at what we got. We got this beautiful golden -y finish and awesome detailing in it. And I kept thinking this must be a mistake. So I tried it again and I got this. And that pink and that yellow merge created some orange. This one I still have, I've got some of the orange and every so often I got a little, little spotting of just that straight pink. I love these, <laughs> this is awesome. You get that golden finish with hints of it. I did try one with just two different kinds of greens. This is on a big round ball. And I tried one with just two different kinds of purples. And again, beautiful detailing and beautiful um, patterning on those. So I have to tell you, this was an experiment that I love. I love these, You're getting that, that antique mirror kind of look popping through them. Don't skip on the step of doing some, some thin layers of the clear poly acrylic. You have to protect the alcohol ink. If you just do the alcohol ink and you spritz in your mirror finish, all the alcohol ink just runs and merges. You don't, you don't get any of that detailing in there. You lose all the colors that you've added. You could just do straight mirror finish balls. You just had the mirror finish on the inside, but I loved adding those colors. And I did have to experiment a little bit along the way to be able to get it so that I had these kinds of results. Let me know if you try this, guys. I think that you're going to love it. It's a little bit fiddly only because of the wait times but not because of the level of difficulty. So, you know, you do the alcohol ink, you let them dry, you do a couple of thin, thin layers of the polyacrylic, letting them dry in between, thin layers of the silver effects, letting them dry in between. You know, space it out over a couple of days, you know, super easy, just walk by, spritz and go. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's a drive-by spritzing. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Let me know if you try it. Love to hear from you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And until then, take care.